The Canon EOS R is the first full-frame mirrorless camera released by Canon. It has a 30 megapixel sensor, which is very similar to the one in the 5D Mark IV. So if you're thinking about switching over, you'll find the quality of the final results almost identical. The dual pixel autofocus works great as always. It's fast and accurate every time, and it now has many more focus points than the DSLR models. The camera can shoot up to 8 frames per second, which is slightly faster than the 5D, and it can also shoot in silent mode up to 1 8,000th of a second. It has built-in Wi-Fi and a new low-power Bluetooth mode that makes it very easy to get pictures off the camera in seconds. Physically, it's a lot smaller than a full-frame DSLR, but it still maintains nice ergonomics and a decent size grip. It's quite a bit lighter than the 5D Mark IV though, about 300 grams less, which always helps in the long run. The body also retains the water resistance of some of its DSLR brothers. It has a single SD card slot and uses the popular LPE6 batteries. You can get about 350 shots or so per charge. It has a fully articulated 3.15 inch touchscreen, bigger and higher in resolution than similar cameras. This is great for difficult or creative angles and for video shooting. The half inch electronic viewfinder has a resolution of 3.69 million dots, giving a great image and making for a great replacement to the traditional optical viewfinders. Probably the biggest design change is the new multifunction control bar that can be customised to change pretty much anything in the camera. It's almost like controlling a smartphone, as you can tap or swipe on it for different results. The mode dial has been replaced by mode button and wheel, which work together with the top screen to change between camera modes. Overall, the camera feels similar to what you'd expect from Canon, but with a nice modern twist to everything. When it comes to video, the camera can shoot in 4K resolution at up to 30 frames per second and can also shoot 1080p at 50 or 60 frames per second. There is a crop on the image when shooting in 4K, so your lenses will be longer and have more reach, which can be handy for wildlife or sports videos. There's a C-Log profile available for higher dynamic range and more control over colour grading. The HDMI port can also output a 10-bit signal so these two features together give filmmakers the option to get really high quality footage through the use of an external recorder like an Atomos Ninja. It's clear that Canon has put a lot of thought into designing this camera to bring out a product that feels new and up to date while still being familiar to their loyal DSLR users, which is not an easy thing to accomplish. Being the first for a new system is always a challenge, but the EOS R shows that Canon has started this new chapter on the right foot and will continue to improve their designs with every new release.